Just checking on the babies. They're awful quiet tonight. Is there anything like me when you're quiet? Something's going on. That one's under wraps right now. I got a big operation going on. It's got a few ailments. These are all pressure tanks. Those two. There's a Scott Atwater. Pressure tank, pressure tank, pressure tank. Some people will give their left um, earlobe for one of those. 1962 Johnson five and a half. Runs like a dream, pumps water, everything cool. Oh, some more gas tanks. This one's a Mercury. I mean the real Mercury. Kaikafer type Mercury. Carl Kaikafer. Worked for Avonrude for about a month and they fired him because he argued with engineering too much. Oh, one lunger. One lunger. I'm going to get that one going, I promise. And my name ain't Mud. Getting into the Martin game too. They're pretty cool. They got poppet valves instead of reeds. There's a Martin. This used to be Ed Blissick's. Kind of my pride and joy. That baby is a one pull, get up and go. There's an Elgin. Mercury 10 horse, kind of a weird thing. You shift it and throttle it all here in the twist grip handle. It's really complicated when you go to fix it. Real easy to use, hard to fix. Oh, look at the cat dragged in. <laughs> oh, there's my director chair. Now these two guys, they are the rudest bunch. They are so Rude. They're even rude. They're so rude. <laughs> I love it. This baby runs. All of those run. Runner, 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 runner. That one's a runner. That one's a runner. 18 horse, 1956. No, excuse me. 1957. It's a runner. The faceplate I still have. I just had it off because I'm not done with the carburetor yet. This is an 18 horse Avenue. That's cousins to that guy over there. Got hellacious spark. It's crazy. And then also we do some woodworking out here. I'm gonna build some trusses. The big thick kind. I'm laminating the lumber for those right now. Three ply. When it's all done, it'll be five and an eighth by three and a quarter. All cords, top cord, bottom cord, webs, everything. There's a nice gas tank with a fully functional recoil. The only thing about this must have been a patent thing, because on this recoil, you got to hold this button right here down whilst pulling on the handle. And let it go when she starts to kick and go. But anyway, it works. It works. Oh! This is a reproduction, so to speak. In 1978, when I was 12 years old, I bought this identical motor at Kmart in Bay City, Michigan on Euclid Avenue for $597. Plus 4% at that time. We're not going to tax your food anymore. But next month when you ain't looking, we're going to jack up the sales tax 2%. We'll get it back. You're just too stupid to know it. That's a 5.5 Evinrude. I mean, that 
has never, it's a 1956. I mean, just look at the paint on that engine. Don't let that scare you. That's just the exhaust cover. That operates well over, way in the high 200s all the time. But anyway, yeah, this is the roundabout shop. We roundabout do everything. Woodworking, truss building, motors, brake calipers. Got an operation going on here called Save the Sticky Caliper. These are the slide bolts. I thought the calipers were junk. So I took them off and I was going to wire wheel the slides and then regrease them. But they were so pitted that I decided for $12.99 I'd go get well, $12.99 for each side, so, yeah. But anyway, this is what we do out here. Love that chair. My wife got that for me a couple weeks ago. It's not Mr. Johnson, it's Seahorse Johnson. It's so cool. And then we over here, we got... Oh, more gas tanks. One pressure tank, two pressure tanks. Oh, you got me. It works. More gas tanks. Then we have 1958 Avenue Lark 35 horse. That's going on my 1971 16 foot aircraft. That's a Closed bow boat with a windshield, steering, controls, remote controls, all that shit. Well, it's got an Atwater tank. There's a 1945 Johnson 5.5 horse. Paid a whopping $15 for that beauty. And 1945 Evinrude 5.5. Also $15 on sale in the cheese capital of Michigan. This is my main boat. CNIP 14R. Full dressed up in memory of my dad. When I was a kid, like I'm talking two or three years old, he had a tiger shark um, like that, but it was hand painted. Tiger Shark 2. And yes, I spelled it that way on purpose. Over here is my dump trailer. And uh, I looked in the mirror and I said, man, somebody's tailgating me. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I don't know what happened. It flew out of the back of somebody. Come unhooked <coughs> or what happened, but there it is. This is a 1960-something aircraft. I haven't done all the research on the, the hull identification number yet, but it's an aircraft made in St. Charles, Michigan, back in the way backs. All right, that's it for today.